Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and a more unfortunate video this time around. After all the excitement over things like, you know, so many big games coming out, PAL world popping off like crazy, unfortunately, I do gotta talk about the nonsense that is Capcom and Enigma DRM. As the latest title from Capcom has been added uh, to having Enigma DRM, and on top of that, it did break it, I believe, on the Steam Deck. I do think Capcom made a statement that they are working on it. Uh, but Monster Hunter Rise is the latest game that has added Enigma DRM. If you guys are not familiar with it, this is the DRM that is being added to not necessarily hinder piracy, which is generally the case with DRMs. It is seemingly more so tied to modding and uh, Capcom cracking down on the modding scene after some things happened with Street Fighter. I did talk about this uh, in a different video if you want to go look that up. It does seem like Capcom wants to come down on modding after some things happened with Street Fighter at an event and uh, yeah. Yeah, some wild stuff there, but I don't think this is the best route to go because ultimately it hinders the player that had nothing to do with the issues that uh, happened with Street Fighter. But yes, Monster Hunter Rise is the latest one that has added Enigma DRM. And this is something that is just so terrible and exceedingly terrible for Capcom because Capcom has done such a phenomenal job in building goodwill with its customers. Uh, Capcom for a long time, I mean Capcom in my absolute youth, they were revered as a game studio and then kind of fell off for a little while and then over the last Decade, I want to say like seven, seven years, let's say last seven years, really with Resident Evil Biohazard kicking it off and more so with like the RE2 remake uh, and the RE4 remake, their work on Monster Hunter, their work on some of the Mega Man collections have been really good. Uh, Capcom has been on fire. Street Fighter 6 obviously received very, very well. They have built a lot of goodwill and you see often people referring to Capcom as literally Cap Go to and they've been coming back to their absolute peak in gaming and Monster Hunter did put out a tweet. We're aware of an issue that is currently preventing Monster Hunter Rise from running on Steam Deck after updating version 16.0.20. A hotfix for this issue is planned for the release in the very near future. Please stay tuned and thank you for your patience and understanding. There's a pretty easy fix for this. Somebody responds, get rid of Enigma should be an easy rollback. Obviously, Enigma DRM has been notorious with messing around with a Steam Deck performance. Like, this is just a byproduct of issues that come with Enigma DRM. DRMs in general, they might have one goal, but because they are so focused and getting to that one goal, other things just happen that cause a uh, S-storm of nonsense, and this is another case of that. Uh, yes, Enigma, whatever, you can prevent modding, and uh, you want to prevent modding? Great. DRM, as far as preventing piracy, I've always been of the mindset that, like, bro, it's not it's not going to be that effective, and if you want to uh, blame your poor game sales on piracy, like, you are so completely out of touch with today's gaming environment, especially because with Steam, uh, games are so easily accessible, and people don't want to go through the hindrance of pirating a game. At least most people don't. Yes, there might be a small percentage that do, but how much of that small percentage also have the financial capabilities of buying said game? A lot of people that pirate pirate their games, they don't have the financial ability to buy a lot of those games. And anyway, if they didn't pirate it, would they be people that would ultimately buy the game or would they just see it as, hey, I have to spend money on this, I'll go do something else. Uh, like, just preventing piracy is not going to help with game sales that much. I truly do believe that. It's one thing about, like, you know, pirating a Logan Paul boxing fight, and it's another thing about pirating a video game. These are not two very similar things. Pirating video games, it absolutely does happen, but for the most part, um, you know, it's not gonna impact sales that much. And even with, like, pirating the Logan Paul boxing fight, how many people that pirate said Logan Paul boxing fight were gonna go buy the Logan Paul boxing fight for however much? Like, I, I want to say, like, the Dylan Dennis fight was, like, $50, which is just wild to think about. But nonetheless, probably a lot of people wouldn't have spent $50 on that. Um, you get the idea. Like, piracy, it happens, but the actual conversion rate of those pirates into becoming uh, game buyers or buyers of whatever product, I really do think it's a lot uh, less than people uh, expect it to be. Also, in the case of Enigma, again, it's tied back to the modding scene and all the stuff going on there and it just sucks again because Capcom has been doing such a great job and if what was rumbled about that a lot of Capcom is going to go back to the old regime and the old power. Man, that just absolutely blows for Capcom in terms of they were doing a lot of the right things. They were putting emphasis on the IPs that people wanted emphasis on, and they were doing them justice. Street Fighter VI, RE4 Remake, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil Village, the Mega Man Collections. We finally got a Battle Network Legacy Collection, although... 
I would say that uh, Mega Man uh, does deserve a brand new game. I hope that'll happen at some point. And I'm not saying that this is going to be the absolute death sentence for a Capcom. Far from it. Like, Enigma DRM, yes, it's something that I'm very familiar with. And you guys are very familiar with the ongoings of this. But how much does that go into the actual gaming community? Probably not that much. Like, when Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out, like, do you really think Enigma DRM is going to affect the sales numbers of that game that much? It might affect it a little. I don't think it's going to affect it that much. I think people are still going to buy that game in droves, and I think people are going to remain excited for it. But if Enigma DRM is just the first domino of several to fall, where Capcom is going to go back to doing you know, not so great things. That's the actual scary part. And Enigma DRM in its own right is absolutely whack. And, you know, games getting broken on the Steam Deck and games not being moddable. It sucks. Modding is absolutely one of the best things in all of PC gaming. And on top of that, like, these games are going to get cracked anyway. And uh, you can try to prevent people from doing certain things. But And obviously, having the DRM in place, it'll make it too much of a hindrance for some people. But ultimately, how much does it really prevent it? It just does cause a lot of nonsense that people that aren't even involved with the actual issues are getting dealt with. Like, it's affecting the consumer without the consumer actually doing much of anything. And uh, we'll see how, you know, Capcom goes for the next 16 months. Like, obviously, Dragon's Dogma 2's release was already in place long before Enigma DRM uh, got put in into place in all of their legacy titles or a lot of their legacy titles we'll see what capcom goes from here in terms of the next 16 to 24 months because if the regime is actually going to change that's when we're really going to start to know um you know as far as things changing and things of that nature but really just sucks man like one of the best publishers of the last 12 months given that they're going to put out resident evil 4 remake street fighter 6 and dragon's dogma 2 within a 12 a month span that is insane and capcom should be applauded for that but instead we're all crapping on capcom Capcom for this Enigma DRM nonsense, so it's just, it just sucks, you know, for all the good things we get in gaming recently, like, obviously nonsense like this has to come to the table as well, that's why, like, you guys know me, I'm, like, super pessimistic, that's why, I'm, while I'm very happy for Pal World success, I'm just like, yo, something's coming up, something's coming up to destroy all of this, and I don't know what it is, but I know it's coming, but that'll do it for me, let me know all of your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below, as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one, peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out